Hey y'all. So I wanted to show you a little mindfulness activity that I find to be so helpful when I'm having that mental spin out. The anxiety, the panic, the worry, all of those sorts of things. What can be really, really helpful is focusing on something and getting present. And this is my favorite way to do this. I teach this during my yoga classes, my meditation classes, at my workshops, and my students are always asking me to do a little video about it so that they remember how to do it. So this is mostly for them, but if you find it to be beneficial, even better. Here's how it works. Make an L shape with your hand. It can be either hand, doesn't matter. Make an L shape. Okay, stick with me. This is not gonna make sense, but that's okay. L shape always faces up. So flip your hand so that the L shape faces up. Excellent. Other hand, okay sign. All right, okay sign always faces out. L shape always faces up. Okay, pretty straightforward. You with me? It's gonna get more complicated. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, switch your hands. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Inhale. And switch your hands. All right, here's the most important thing. Do not get frustrated if you are finding this incredibly difficult. It's supposed to be incredibly difficult. That's kind of the thing, because what happens is that it requires all your focus, all your attention, right here. So it means you don't have a whole lot of space in your mind for the mental spin out, for the anxiety, for the worry, because you have to be right here. L shape always faces up, okay sign always faces out, and work with the breath. So if you're doing this while holding your breath, not really gonna work. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, and just give it a try. It doesn't have to be perfect. What it does is it works both hemispheres of the brain. It's kind of like that, you know, patting the head and rubbing the belly thing and it makes you bring your attention, your focus, your concentration here. Which, for those of us who struggle with anxiety, it's really, really easy to get lost in the past, to get lost in the future. And then you can speed it up. It took me so long to be able to do this, by the way. But you get into the body. Right? It's that mind-body connection that we're always hearing about. It's really helpful in managing stress. All right, how'd that go? <laughs> yeah, I get it. It's really, really difficult. As I said, the most important thing, don't beat yourself up. Don't say, like, I must be stupid. I'm so uncoordinated. I can't do this. Nobody can do this at first. It's a hard thing to do but it becomes a really, really great tool when you notice that you are getting lost in past and future and you need to just be here. Because all of it is right here. This is where we need to deal with our lives from this present moment. And this is a really good way to get present. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you find it helpful. If you do, let me know. Um, I would love to hear your response. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breathing with me.